could listen to me make a... Hey, Chris, I'm making a video right now. I'll send it to you. Uh, it's about how to resize images for the web. So in, uh, in, in how to resize images for the web. So in Photoshop, uh, there's a tendency to, for even folks that have used Photoshop quite a bit, to want to save an image with the regular save tools. And they're usually up under file, save as. But when you're doing something for the web, you want it to be compressed. So I'm going to be doing a, a slider for my Seattle construction website. And first I'm going to crop the image. I have it 900 pixels by 350 pixels, 72, 72 DPI. Or I'm sorry, pixels is a resolution. Um, got my image. I've cropped it. Let's drag my uh, drag my logo over onto the picture. Change the opacity a little bit. Control T shortcut, make it a little bit larger. Once uh, I'm going to sharpen the image just a tad. Just a tatty tootie. Yep. Hold, hold on a second, Chris. So so go down to save. Instead of the save as, once my image is ready, I want to do for save for web and devices. That pulls up uh, this additional sub screen, um, which allows you to, number one, save it in different formats. GIF, JPEG, PNG. We want to do a JPEG. We see here that this image is going to be 84K. That's a little bit larger than I want, but I think it's okay. I mean, I could, I could change the quality to medium. That changes it to 42. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to change that to medium. I'm going to press save, uh, and I'm going to navigate directly to my The Seattle Construction Site images and I'm going to call this um, metal railing <laughs> that's not an optimized name but I'm going to save it and um, there we have it